we started actually in 1989 with an idea when I met Josef Zelenets, uh, my fellow co-founder of Serge, the uh, Serge Yai. He, we met at a conference in Vienna and decided that uh, as things were about to change, that it would make sense to uh, uh, start maybe some institution that would educate uh, the future generations of economists uh, in Central Eastern Europe. So then after the Velvet Revolution took place in 1990, we visited Charles University and Rector Paloš and uh, we uh, proposed to him that we would create a top-notch uh, economics department for Charles University. So for a moment we were right at the center of the rectorate of uh, Charles University and later we started building uh, Serge. It was at that point only Serge because it was just with Charles University. And uh, uh, the beginnings were, um, you know, fascinating, exciting. We raised a lot of money in the United States. We got established uh, here, but it was also very challenging. So for instance, we had no place uh, where to, where we would be. So we were temporarily staying at Orshanka. Uh, George Soros was uh, having the Central European University there and we jointly with them were launching Serge. Uh, the first generation of students um, uh, didn't know what to expect, so they had no upperclassmen, nobody who finished to imagine what kind of future they would have. So I remember we brought in students from the University of Michigan for the summer and uh, after the first year and the Czech, the students at Sergi I were all excited because they said, well, these people study the same uh, things we are studying. They know exactly what we know. You know, we must be actually doing an American PhD. So they finally started believing that that's what was happening. So Josef Zelenets and I realized that uh, the economists who were educated here and who worked as economists, uh, very, very few of them understood what modern Western economics, market-based economics is about because they were either trade technically as planners, they were doing central planning, or they were doing more philosophy, Marxist, Leninist type, uh, philosophically oriented uh, economics. Some of them obviously who studied econometrics, uh, you know, or had access to Western uh, journals, uh, knew uh, how to do Western economics, but very few. So basically we had to start from scratch to start a, uh, you know, a new uh, institution and we persuaded the main donors that we were going to create a an institution for the entire post-Soviet bloc region and that's what we did. So as you know the students come here from all over the former Soviet bloc and uh, we indeed place people all over the region when they finish. So the first faculty we were bringing in from uh, from the West. So we were recruiting faculty members for a semester or a year and they came in and they taught uh, the courses here and then gradually we started hiring faculty on the world market just like we do now so we were gradually building up the faculty uh, here and in the first uh, decade we were actually hiring some of the best students who finished their PhD here we were hiring as assistant professors. And then there were some uh, students from Prague who did their PhD in the United States. So there's a mixture of hiring people who literally just came for a year, some even just a semester, and those who came here to start being the regular faculty. Well, we promised to them the sky. We said sky's the limit, you know, you're going to get uh, exactly the same kind of uh, education that you would get at a leading American institution. And in fact, the professors we hired came from leading American institutions. We had professors from Cornell, from University of Michigan, from uh, Tilburg, Netherlands. And so they were taught by people who would teach them if they enrolled at one of those schools. So. It was an uphill struggle, no, no denial of that. They really were came with trepidation. But on the other hand, it was a challenge which uh, they realized there was a potential and, and they came. Yeah, so that's a very good question. So uh, uh, we were 
building Serge and uh, as I mentioned we didn't actually have a place where to stay so we were looking for some other place to go to and then totally coincidentally uh, scientists from the Academy of Sciences, physicists, chemists uh, came and asked me if I would start a Serge GI for them for the Academy and said but you know we actually have a building and so you could actually move into Politsky Vesnu Serum and uh, you know and um, bring Sergi I so bring Serge here so I said okay if you're willing to do a single institution uh, then I'm willing to do that uh, now they said well single institution not quite but they were willing to do a joint workplace they said there'll be two institutions one will be Serge and one will be the economics institute the Narodos Bararsky stuff in Czech and uh, and they can work together and we can even sign an agreement for on a chain workplace. So that's how Serge GI was born. So it's much more a mature institution now. Uh, you know, when we were starting, we were like many startups in uh, various areas, academic, uh, civil, civic and so on here. Most of them didn't survive. Uh, we trusted ourselves that we were going to survive, but obviously it depended on how we were treated here by the uh, parent institutions, whether we were able to raise funds and so on and so forth. So, uh, so it was really a, a very much a Spartan type hurrah, you know, institution, um, which developed into a totally well-established institution with uh, rules uh, that we have and, you know, um, major, major, you know, success in terms of research, teaching, and so on. Um, so the quality was there from the beginning. The directed, the trajectory was there at the, from the very beginning, but. Uh, but we were essentially stepping into the unknown, trying to establish something that didn't exist before. Well, of course, the best, great success, they've done a terrific job. So I think the first thing to say is, uh, uh, you know, to sort of give them what they deserve, namely the recognition. That they've done incredibly well starting with the staff uh, the professors the students and obviously i think uh, what we want to ensure is that this goes and expands in the future so it remains a leading institution in the world and uh, obviously uh, graduates those who have the diplomas here have the major interest to continue to have diplomas that come from an elite institution